Welcome to Photo Blue, and today I'm going to show you how to add text to a GIMP image. Uh, this is a stock photo from Pixabay, and I picked it because it's kind of a nice even color for putting text onto, so we shouldn't run into any problems with contrast or darkness or anything, or lightness, when we're putting the text on there. Uh, if you've ever used a different program, like a graphics program or Photoshop, to put text on something or in a picture or to draw text or write text uh, you're gonna find GIMP a little bit quirky and so I'm gonna point out some of the quirks and some of the things uh, that you can do to uh, fix certain problems that you'll run into and certain things that might confuse you when you first start messing around with it. The first thing you want to do is check to make sure that this uh, icon is activated that locks the position and size of the layer. Uh, if that is off, when we go to this uh, positioning tool, it will move the entire layer around. And the the base layer, the background layer, needs to be locked. And the reason is because if you don't lock it and you're trying to move around the text, you end up moving around the background and it gets very frustrating. So we're going to lock that. Uh, and I think a lot of videos don't mention that particular thing because people get once you get used to it you don't even think about it so the next thing is we're going to go up to this icon up here for text and select that you'll see here in this uh little dialogue or whatever it, it gives you all the information about the, um the text and some uh, attributes to it what we're going to do is we're going to create a text box here and we need to set the size and the size by default is in pixels which is a little confusing because most programs by default have points and the pixel is kind of relative to the size of or resolution of the photograph uh, so if you have a higher resolution photograph you'll need um, more pixels to make bigger text uh, than you would on a lower resolution where you'll, you'll still need pixels to do it obviously but you might not need as uh, many so uh, the more pixels you have the more in the image the more pixels you need in the font to make it a readable size so I'm going to click on this box and type uh, a word uh, that's a little bigger than I want it to be so I can resize this and to resize this I've got to click and drag over and and uh, select all of the the letters this again is a little bit odd because most programs will just kind of highlight the lettering this kind of puts squares around them kind of yellow squares around them so once they're all selected we can change this let's change it to a hundred pixels And if we went here and went to points, which would be the normal thing, we can do that as well if, you, if you're if you more used to that. And uh, that's a little less confusing to me uh, because uh, A, I, that's what I'm used to, and B, it's kind of more of a, of a you know, a relative point size as opposed to, to uh, how many pixels, which is uh, much different depending on uh, the size of the uh, image and it's a smaller number so it's just to me it's easier to deal with all right so let's uh, we can we can reduce the size of this we can click back on here add some more text to it now we can resize this box if we want and when we size the box, it's a fixed box. If we look back over here at the uh, text dialog, we can set that to dynamic. And it will actually uh, change size by when we type. So if we backspace, it gets smaller. If we add, it gets larger. And that might be uh, more what you're used to because many graphics programs, again, just kind of have default to dynamic. If we, so if we size this, manually again it automatically switches back to fixed uh, so that's just something to be aware of so we're gonna we're gonna set that to uh, dynamic again 
And now if we want to move this around, we're going to use the move tool and then we're going to click on to the layer to make sure we have that layer selected. We should be able to move that around, but you've got to be careful because uh, it, it wants to select the bottom layer again or it can get pulled off really easily and that layer is now locked. So, so it will... Um, it will give you this error at the bottom. So just another thing to be aware of when you're moving it around. It takes a little bit to get used to that. So if we go back to the uh, text tool again and click on this, we can highlight everything here. And if we wish to change uh, the color of the text, we can click on here. And then click OK. And it will uh, it will uh, change the color of the text there. And uh, once again, if we go back to the text tool and highlight it, we can change any attributes like what font it is uh, and uh, if it's bold or if it's underlined, but we have to make sure that we highlight it first. So we can have bold, italic, any of those features. So that's basically how you add text to a, an image in GIMP. This has been Photo Blue, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.